Welcome, this is Barry Jones from the Angel School and we're here for our weekly angel reading for April the 28th through May 4th, 2014. So let's just take a moment to align all of our energies. As I always do, I call each of you your higher self and your angels and guides to join me in this circle of love with the angels. And I'm getting a sense of seeing the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a dove, which to me represents the Holy Spirit. And just take a moment to take a deep breath, to connect in with the energy of our circle. And asking for, we're asking for clear divine guidance that will help us all to align through the focus of source, to align with the highest levels of possibilities, the and information and guidance that will help us to stay centered throughout the week, that would allow us to bring in the abundance that we so richly deserve and to help us to be a light in our world for others. So as I just tune in, and what I'm seeing to start, I'm kind of seeing almost like a, um, like a film projector but a handheld film projector. And so the energy, there's, there's a sense that we are, okay, now they're, they're doing this again. So this is not what I thought it was. Okay, this is um, more of a, it's like, it's like a handheld cannon. That's weird, right? So this I've never seen this vision before. So it's kind of like something, it's like a rocket of desire. It represents our rocket of desires is what they're telling me. And that you are in this week, we're just sending off lots of rockets of desires for ourselves. And that they're showing me a bouquet of flowers, which is, you know, sort of like receiving the rewards or receiving um, answers to your prayers, okay? There's a sense of you feeling appreciation. Maybe maybe someone, a lover may actually, um, or someone may send you a bouquet of flowers or you may discover the affections and admiration of someone that um, may be a surprise to you. Or, you know, it could be some, you're in your own, your relationships currently that your spouse or partner has, you know, just, just wants to show you how much they love you and, uh, and appreciate you. So in this week, you know, I get get I get a feeling that we're seeing more dreams, more of our desires, the opportunities for our desires to unfold for us. So it feels like we're in a in a time frame where there's going to be a lot of manifestation. We're seeing a pattern here sent from last week, and the week before that we had. A different kind of pattern and like almost preparing, but now it feels like we're we're reaping the benefits and we, it's a lot of action. You know, to, to see this little hell hand rocket or like uh, cannon means that we are, this, this is going to be a time of action um, where things are going to be taken off and new ideas are going to be set into place. And I'm getting a sense from the fairies that they're helping you 
and that's why we we're working with their energy today in the cards that they're they're helping you to to with your manifestation work and so this is going to be a, a great opportunity for you to really listen to your angels to really follow your heart follow your intuition as it will lead you to the manifestation or fruition of your dreams and so that's going to be very important um so call on your angels this week when any, ever something happens make sure that you tune into your higher self ask your divine holy spirit to assist you with guidance and the direction and the steps that you need to take so as this is a time of action ask for the action steps they're also showing me uh, this is interesting like a ballerina okay she just kind of you know i don't jumped up in the air and the, the her dance partner kind of okay kind of uh, picked her up so that i get a sense that you need to go for it you know you need to enjoy yourself um your practice so that this that you've worked very hard you've practiced you've been doing your work you know you're more than skilled you're more than qualified for what's coming to you now and you put in a lot of energy and it's time for you to recognize understand that you deserve to be rewarded for your for your hard work and so let the universe bless you allow it know that you deserve it this is the piece that's really key to not let anything get in your way that would hinder you from receiving in this time all right so let's take a look at the card for the beginning of the week and my goodness we had this card last week so we're repeating and we've had a lot of cards if you've been following me on the um, daily messages we've had a lot of cards to repeat um, lately so there is a huge message here and the card is prosperity it's, this is the Archangel Ariel and Archangel Ariel is really appropriate that she shows up again because I've been told that Archangel Ariel <clears throat> well she is the angel of nature and that the fairies um, work with Archangel Ariel so it's most appropriate that we're working with the magical fairies cards today and the card says your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality so the whole thing is again you follow your intuition you follow your heart you follow your passion you follow the inspired guidance and the abundance flows because they come together they're not separate you don't have to work with with the, like with with only one focus in mind one the heart brings the abundance they come together your heart is the source of abundance in all aspects of relationship in our three-dimensional reality so it makes sense that if you connect with your heart that the abundance is going to be apparent but if you negate that and you do what you think is right and not what you feel is right then you run the chance of separating them because you've separated yourself from your heart the the goal is not to detach from our heart but to detach from the the outer awareness of what is perceived as right and wrong to detach from that duality and be in that neutral zone of the heart which is source which is god which is this infinite love and source of well-being and abundance and every good thing that comes from this source comes with every good reward that you could possibly want for yourself. All right, let me just tune into this card just to see if I see any additional information. 
here. So I was seeing a bowl, like a brass bowl, almost reminds me of a, um, I forget the name of those bowls, the, 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 that, um, the tuning bowls. And then I saw a woman, so um, almost like a cheerleader. So it feels like we need to really tune into our intuition and that this woman represents our divine feminine, whether we're, uh, you're a man or a woman that you really need to align yourself, okay? Align yourself, be uh, have harmony with your intuitive nature so that you can receive allow, okay? The, the work has been done previously, so now it's about receive allow. All right, let's see what comes up for us at the beginning of the week. Okay, and we have the queen of air and it says in independent experienced realistic and witty so the queen of air is someone who is very detached okay she she is objective and she doesn't allow her emotions to rule okay not to say that she's not intuitive but she, her, her intellect and her emotions are guided by her clarity, the, the clarity of her heart. And so she keeps things simple. She doesn't let a lot of things kind of get in the mix. And usually what happens is our ego is always, when it comes, it comes with a collage of things, of worries and information that distract you and you can never really focus on all of them. And so what the, you know, the queen of air would do is she would focus her mind or she would focus on one. She would focus on a priority in order to make a clear decision. She has to clear out everything else, knowing that taking that approach you can solve each problem as it comes up. All right, let's just take a look at the um, card from the fairies. Okay, and so we have daughter here. And it says, the answer to your question involves your daughter. So I'm gonna go with first that this card is representing that playfulness, representing that feminine energy. And I remember I was just seeing a cheerleader. So that, you need to have a playful approach. You know, don't think, don't take things seriously. <laughs> you know, don't, don't, you know, don't get caught up. Be, have a playful approach to, and a relaxed approach to your, the decisions that you will be making. Don't get, so let that, you know, let go of all attachment. And it's interesting how she's just trusting here as she, is swinging from you know the different flowers to the next and that trust and with our intuition it requires us to have a lot of trust on the unknown or unseen and you can you're able to do this if you use a an approach that is relaxed and playful and you're not taking things seriously but you you are the way that you handle things is that you you are very objective and you realize that you can only deal with one thing at a time so i'm getting a sense that you at the beginning of the week you need to really focus because now as we're moving into really allowing and keeping our eyes focused and on the opportunities that are coming towards us, we need to have a clear mind in order to be able to see ahead, if you will. And I'm just drawn to the fact that how she's looking in that crystal ball to get insights, to see what's coming ahead. And so she's got to clear her mind in order to do that. Um, she's got to keep her mind clear. And so the, you know, as the card says here, the second says, uh, sentence says, clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the humor 
in a situation. So it's perfect. Let me just tune in to see if I, there's anything else additional about this card. And what I was getting a sense is that it's kind of felt like I was in this room, um, like an office, and the person kind of looked like a ruler. Uh, I think it's a very symbolic image I'm seeing here. So that you may, at the beginning of the week, there may be some big decisions that will, you know, change your life some opportunities, um, potentially some business uh, concerns or offers, or just in general, it's about you being a clear, uh, focused leader in your own life and for others. And I'm seeing that, you know, at the beginning of the week, you're gonna get some really sharp, clear information from your higher self and so you need to be stay very aware and tuned in to your higher self's guidance and the information that's going to come to you. It's going to be a little different. It's going to feel kind of direct and sharp. And what they're showing me is that they want you to keep, stay open. Don't disconnect because I'm seeing a thin trunk of the tree and then it widens. You need to do whatever you need to do. You need to stay Keep that ground and keep that wide connection in order to really bring in all that information that's going to be coming to you from your higher self. Okay, let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week. All right, and here, this is interesting because it says you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts, continue to move forward. Okay, so that kind of confirms what I was just seeing here. And let me just turn, turn over this card. Okay, and it says... You've got the power. So use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. And again, you know, here she is walking on this thin thread, which is probably um, a spider web. But she's trusting her power. She's trusting in her abilities. She's ready to spread her wings. And she has the support of guides and angels around her who are and and all of the elementals so you see that there's a there's a lot of support and around her to 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 take those steps to make things happen and so possibly you may find yourself walking into a situation in which you're being offered something uh, new uh, like a contract um, let me just tune into this card these this message for the middle of the week and see. All right. So I am seeing a table, which for me means, you know, like talks across the table, um, that something is something is being prepared for you, um, some kind of opportunity. So whether this is literal in the sense that it's business related or it's relationships, um, partnerships, business partnerships or romantic relationships, or whatever that you need that you've been waiting for, just be open to engaging and interacting with others in ways that may bring new perspectives or new realities or new opportunities, okay, that will help advance you in the areas of your life where you have the your priority is focused there at this time. Just know that the fairies and the angels are assisting you with that. Okay, and let's take a look at the card for the end of the week. All right, now we have the five of fire. And it says, competing goals, bothersome details, conflicts with others. And let's just take a look. Okay, so patience, please, is what the fairies say. It says, what you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. So what I'm getting is that you're feeling very frustrated. You know, you're, you're, you're feeling um, maybe at the weekend a bit tied, tied up. And you are not quite sure 
if things are going to work out, you, you may start to lose a bit of faith. And it looks like over the last, this week, last week and this week, and I have a feeling in the coming weeks that, you know, things are going to be unfolding. Okay, things are, it may come ideas to you at first and then people and then so forth. But the thing is, is that you've got to stay focused. You have to um, believe and have faith and not give up on the outcome of your desires. As the card says here, things, just some things that are unseen. And we had in the middle of the week, the seven of earth, which is similar to this card's message. And we had, you know, this, these similar messages. So, so it just, there's a, a repeat different cards, but the same um, message is being identified here. So we, that means that, that we need to, things are coming. We just need to hold tight. Okay. All right. Let me just tune in uh, and see for the weekend if there's anything specific about this. Okay, so not seeing anything different here. So just hold tight. All right, and now I'm going to take the card from the bottom of the deck I pulled already. And let's see what the message is here. So this is the Page of Air. And we've had this card come up before as well a lot in our readings. And that this is that the, the page is a messenger. And that it's bringing us this week. So what the bottom line of this reading is, because these cards are from the bottom, and what's influencing the reading for the week is that we're getting a lot of messages that will, that will deliver information that will help you to clarify your plans. So this is going to be a week where you should expect to see um, or receive some kind of information that will help you to know what steps need to be taken. Now let's take into consideration the card from the fairies, which is emotional healing card. And it says, as your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. So what, what I'm really getting is that this week, it's going to, you know, as you are moving, working through and allowing this abundance to come in, this is about you receiving. And as you receive, your heart heals and you're able to open up and get clear guidance, clear messages that will <clears throat> may not be easy to receive, but you will be able to understand and you will feel um, strengthened by this information, and you'll get you'll get clearer about what your heart's truth is. So as your heart heals, you'll get more clarity about your power, your heart's desires. So all that stuff about seeing the the rockets of desires this week <coughs> launching. And a sense that rewards are coming in, this is all shifting us. And it's, you know, all this talk about listening to our heart and listen to our higher self that the angels have been repeating repeatedly, um, and I hope every week, is key because we have to let go. We have to take this, we have to shift, and we have to stop relying on the fearful information that our ego presents to us that we are not deserving and it puts us in a place of lack and um, it causes us to have a life that feels uh, quite unfulfilling and so what we're learning to do is rely on the wisdom and the guidance of our higher self once and for all so that you can be absolutely clear and done with that old paradigm of fear and to invite the compassion, the trust and the love into your life. So it's very important. And so I feel like this read, week's reading is definitely a good week for us. It 
comes with many blessings and many lessons. And so we invite you to just, you know, to stay in your power, to listen to your to your soul, inner soul's guidance, be clear and objective, be open to the partnerships and relationships that come. Have, you know, when you feel kind of tied and twisted, it means that you need to take time to relax and be patient. Don't try to rush or force things. You know, prosperity f is always flowing and you just have to trust that that is the, the universe itself. It is always moving. The momentum of the universe is always moving and accruing all of your prayers. And there's the pile so high. Just earlier this morning when doing the meditation, I saw in a pyramid, pyramid shape, the uh, um, all of the things that I've been asking for, all the prayers that I've been asking for, just piled, and they're just waiting for us to let them in. And it's all about just letting go of saying, you know, oh, I'm not ready, I'm not quite ready yet. You know, when something happens, you know, let go of the doubt. And trust, trust that you're ready to receive what you deserve. And so I send you lots of love and I thank you for um, being present and for all of your subscriptions, your likes um, here and on YouTube and for all of the uh, recent readings that I've been doing. And I ask you to check out my uh, Facebook page where we do the daily reading, card readings each week uh, from Monday through Friday to just go a little bit deeper into this reading here. And also, um, if you would like an angel reading with me, you can go to my Facebook, I'm um, sorry, my, you can go to my Facebook page or you can go to my website, theangelschool.com. Also there, besides the angel readings there, there is a mentorship program called the divine roadmap and if you are looking to work on a regular basis on um, where you are energetically and what blocks are coming up for you um, there's some really interesting things that we do with that work and so um, you know check that out or inquire with me about it and you'll know in your heart if it's right for you if you're ready for it so just go with your heart. But I look forward to seeing you uh, next week. And I will be doing the daily readings this week from Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And But I will not be doing them on Thursday and Friday. I'll be um, away, but I will return the following Monday. And so we can, uh, we'll continue then. And of course, I'll be here next week with the weekly reading. So I'll do that ahead of time. But I wish you so much luck and success and um, prosperity and surrounding you all with wings of love. Until next week, God bless you.